I understand that there are two different directions one can measure risk in, forwards and backwards. Please explain what this means. Gladly, but I must confess that I haven't heard it put that way before. It seems valid and unique, but just a little different. Ex ante risk measurement is forward looking, while ex post is backward looking. This polling group's research has found that most firms employ ex post, though many are also doing ex ante. Ex post tells us what risk the manager took in order to achieve the return the client received. If the manager outperformed the benchmark but in order to do so took an excessive amount of risk, the client would, of course, want to know that. But what if the manager took an excessive amount of risk and lost a lot of the client's money? That could be a problem, yes. It might be too late to find out that the manager was overly aggressive in managing the portfolio. Ideally, the client monitors the manager's risk over time and gets a sense of the level of risk they are taking. In addition, the manager should be managing the portfolio in a manner that aligns with the client's risk tolerance, as well as their return objectives. By discussing both, the manager should be conscious of what the client will be comfortable with. How might risk tolerance be defined? One commonly used measure is tracking error. The client identifies a range they're comfortable with, and it's up to the manager to stay within that range. Thanks. Tell me about ex ante risk. As already stated, ex ante is forward-looking risk. It's an attempt to say what the risk is in the future. How is this done? Often by using the most recent portfolio data, assessing the risks of what is held, and projecting what the future will look like. Value at risk is a commonly used forward-looking measure. One approach that is used is to see how the various securities in the portfolio correlate with one another. Another is it to look at the worst-case scenarios that have occurred and use these as a guide for the future. VAR provides an estimate as to the total amount that can be lost over a certain time period. For a given confidence level, even some ex-post measures can be calculated on an ex-ante basis, for example. We could have an ex ante tracking error. It's important for all parties involved to understand that these are estimates of the future. Changes in ex ante measures, such as changes in VAR, can indicate increases or decreases in risk. Thank you. This was helpful. You are welcome.